It's been six years since Mohammed al Halabi was arrested by Israeli security forces, accused of funnelling up to $50 million of Australian aid money to the Islamic militant group Hamas. Supporters of the Palestinian man gathered outside the district court, clashing with Israelis, as inside the judge delivered the guilty verdict, finding al Halabi was assisting the terrorist group that controls the Gaza Strip. Now, much of the evidence used to indict Halabi remains classified, so we can't actually tell you what the prosecution has relied upon to build its case, but it alleged he siphoned off tens of millions of dollars to pay Hamas fighters, buy arms and fund the group's activities. Al Halabi's lawyer maintains his client is innocent and that the case is politically motivated. It has nothing to do with the evidence or the facts. It's totally political. All the judge said, in, if, if, if I want to summarise it in one sentence, the uh, security forces cannot be wrong. Now, an independent audit commissioned by World Vision several years ago concluded there were no irregularities in the disbursement of funds in Gaza. Likewise, an investigation done by the Australian Department of Foreign Affairs also failed to show any evidence money was diverted to Hamas. But the judge has disagreed. In our view, there have been irregularities in the trial process and a lack of substantive and publicly available evidence. We support Mohammed's intent to appeal the decision and call for a fair and transparent appeal process based on the facts of the case. Sentencing for the case has been set down for next month, but it is expected Al Halabi's lawyers will file an appeal against the guilty verdict.